Hello, hello, it's Wessel here, and thanks for joining me as I continue my adventures in SnowRunner on hard mode. This is day four of our daily adventure, uh, where we'll run through the next 24 hours uh, of, uh, of working our way through, at the moment, Michigan. So let's continue on where we left off yesterday, and we've just loaded some service spare parts which we're going to use for, in fact, two tasks, the long way, but also rock on. I might do rock on first. So let's rock on and get stuck into these tasks. past this contest. No, we're not going to be doing this one just yet. But at least we picked it up. We might just activate this task while we're here. This is the more fuel task. because, you know, I've got a trailer, but we'll get here in the end. Sometimes those camera shot angles where it goes up on the, onto the building just make it so much harder to see where you are. But we're okay now because we're off. I guess the workaround is to, to hop in the driver's seat might have been more sensible earlier. Now we're just going to run back to to this task here past the garage where we'll, where we'll do this rock on task to open up the main road here. our trailer because we don't need that to do this delivery there we go opened up that road which is the main road down through Smithfield Dam legs out. Uh, if you've watched any of my earlier exploits, you'll see that that is a recurring theme. When I'm craning, I seem to have a mental block on getting the legs out for this truck. Hence we've had some fun and games.
going sideways. See, as time goes on, it gets less and less fussy. However, I will do the right thing and pack those into there before I go away. Even though I'm not going to take this trailer anywhere yet. Right, so now we are off to head down to deliver these service spare parts to those boulders to complete the long way task. when you're trying to be careful you can still damage that suspension it seems to be if you hit a rock or something just on the side it seems to be much worse than if you actually run over it uh, anyway we'll keep trying to be careful now I'm going to refuel from the scout trailer that we left here earlier even though it's right at the fuel station. I don't know. Don't want to spend any money. Not gonna pay for it. Not unless I have to. Just step over these fallen trees. trees here that just stop your progress for a bit. But normally if you have a sort of second go you can get past them, through them. There we go. use the winch if you need to. This time I've probably just got away with it. And we'll stop there and offload our cargo. Which gives us another fifteen hundred dollars and opens up the path through to where we can just see the other chev's nose. Just turn the fleet star around. A little bit careful here. This is probably a good 
one spot to stop the truck. And then we'll jump into the other chef with its damaged engine. And just bring it through. Through the mud. Fleet start. Then we're going to grab the winch and tow this guy back to the garage. I'm going to be brave going through here just to try and avoid the worst of the mud. Hindsight, probably not a great idea. No. No, we might just give up on that whole idea and go back through the mud. Lucky point for me is there's a heck of a lot of trees around here. No. Can at least get back to where I should be. It's a good idea to try and go through there. Not. Now I'm just going to watch my back here because I don't want to go so far that I then uh, can't reach the the chef with my winch. Not bad. We should be just about out enough. Yep, that's fine just be able to pull out of here while we drag the winch through the water. We'll drag the chef through the water. Yep, looks pretty good. We'll just try and get back from the truck a bit. Bring the chef up a little closer. Alright, continue on in the pouring rain. moment I've not turned the engine on on the chef. Um, Fleet Star can pull it okay without needing the, the chef to help and besides the chef's probably only going to fall into neutral so it's unlikely to drive much. So we will bring it along. Now I'm going to let go of the chef here because I want to load up some fuel that we are going to need for our next task. I'll change that while we speak. So the next task is actually the essentials. I'm going to load up for that. To fuel. Legs out.
build again from the little trailer here. worried if the chef gets damaged um, as I'm not going to be keeping it I'm basically going to sell it once we once we get up to the garage I don't need two chefs and a international scout for doing my scouting I'm happy just to keep one doing the essentials contract task or contract and we can head through the now cleared road mop to rock on. be a little bit sneaky here because I'm going to take a shortcut through to the farm but I'm not going to take the wooden planks with me at the moment I'm going to deliver them later when I deliver the bricks so we'll, we'll come through to the, to the farm now in the fleet star with highway tires on getting to the farm is a it's a little bit of a struggle you can cut straight ahead there where I've now come around to the right but that can be quite boggy whereas coming over here and then sneaking through the trees is a little bit easier you've got to find the right spot to sneak through the tree Through 
contrary to the farm. We can drop off the, the first cargo for the essentials. Workers task. And then head back to pick up our wooden planks that we left back here at the intersection. Just bog ourselves a little. We need to use the winch. along a bit with this crane. Sometimes just getting off angle will help to give drive to the, to the wheels that need it. Sometimes it doesn't help. Just out of winch range for those trees. And there's nothing behind us that'll be able to give us any significant. Nope. Okie doke. Well, that's pretty annoying. That's why I didn't want to come over this way originally. But I must admit, I've never had trouble coming back this way. When I've got an empty truck. I'm trying this for a minute. But I think we've got ourselves now unable to get up that bank. Oh, that's a pity, real pity. So that means I'm gonna have to go and hop into the Chev, which is gonna be a big ask for the Chev to pull the fleet star out. But the chef was going to come back this way anyway. Just uh, perhaps not quite ideal to come back this early. Oh, and to slip over. Hmm, having some trouble. This is the known spot here. We can get out of this. Yeah, 
since I've been doing so well too. of fuel on our way past. Head on over. Try and rescue the fleet star. Oof. Yes, you're doing it. I can see you moving. Come on, please. Um. We are so close. We'll try and see if we can get a little bit of acceleration. Chef. All right, and 
Fleet Star, suitably red faced. Continue on. Now I think for the moment we'll take the trailer with us. Because we're actually going to to head down to the Smithfield Dam Bridge, which we haven't actually found yet as a task, but is down here at the end of the road. Good to be up and running again. That's one thing I do like about SnowRunner is is that sort of having to think on your feet to to save your vehicle. Uh, those unplanned events makes it so much more fun and challenging, especially once you've <laughs> once you've solved it and got your vehicle out of its spot. If you can avoid getting into trouble, all the better. But it is quite enjoyable to, uh, to to get out of it with your other truck. And I'm sure I'll be doing it again <laughs> as as I go through the playthrough. over here on the other side of the river there's a, a trailer with with two wooden planks on it and I can offload from that one onto this one because I actually want to offload from the flatbed into the into the sideboard. I much prefer using the sideboard trailers. Um, mostly <laughs> because if you have to, you can unpack the cargo and it will remain pretty much in the trailer. Whereas on a on a flatbed style trailer. If you unpack it, then uh, you're at the uh, at the whim of gravity. 
uh, in terms of being able to keep it on your trailer. Just pop the crane up now before I go too far. Board, but there's no real value. I can uh, I can put my bricks, and I will load later onto the trailer. Okay, so we've now got our two wooden planks. We need to pick up some bricks. Oops, I'm fenced down a bit. Sorry, buddy. this task. The unlucky fisherman. And head back over the bridge and up to the warehouse where we can load some bricks. it all down and head off to the farm.
across over the dam on our way back up to the farm to deliver these two bricks and two wooden planks. Now I'm going to be pretty careful coming down the, the road into the farm. I'm not going to go the way I uh, had trouble with before. I'm going to use the main road this time, but I know that that also is very muddy. So we will just need to be on our toes when we get to the farm. Peaceful driving along here at night. Very low engine noise. We'll upset that in a moment by hopping back out of the cabin. Because I need to be able to see where my wheels are. Turf all wheel drive mode. We're just going to see how we go. flock on. Now I've got a couple of things I can winch off and I'm going to have to I think. So we can start with the, the leg of the sign. That'll get us through this first little part. You can see this is hard work for the Fleet Star on it highway tyres. It's just struggling for grip. But are we going to hug the, the edge without going too far up? So I'm not going to go up over that bit because it's too too angled. I'll keep going straight through here. We've got a tree we can winch from there or a pole we can winch from coming up. So we've still got a few winch spots if we need them. Little Fleet Star keeps pushing on. This is with wood and bricks. No, it's just doing a great job. Again, try and make sure we keep not too far from that pole. And from here on, it should be pretty right. Reach rank 5, which is great because that opens up the little roof rack for the Scout uh, and also gives us $4,100 for our bank balance. Very cool. So given that that's opened up our, our Scout uh, little roof rack, I'm going to hop back to the, hop back to the chef. and run it up to the garage. Put that little extra. Oh, check out those lights. Makes you realise how bad the Fleet Stars ones are.
here we are back in the garage and we will now that we can we will apply the small roof rack because we can't get that one till we get to rank 14 but we can get the small roof rack and that will give us 40 litres of fuel which is half a tank plus four spare wheels which probably aren't so useful but uh, at least we've got them uh, there's nothing much else oh yes there is oh of course there is we've also can put on our engageable diff lock that we uh, uncovered and sell the unlocked so now we've got a diff lock on our on our scout we've got a roof rack we've pretty much got everything we want for this little guy for the moment so that's pretty cool so we'll take it now in hard mode as you can see there when you buy any fuel elements fuel add-ons or fuel trailers uh, they come empty so there's no no free fuel uh, in hard mode so we have to fill that up uh, at a, a fuel station or a, from a fuel carrier um, or by siphoning it from another vehicle like perhaps this chef sitting here so we'll just come over here and refuel and that particular chef's got 45 litres in it so we'll take 40 and put it into a small roof rack and we'll take the other five put into the chef so at least we're almost completely full and then I'll hop into that other uh, chef and move it into the garage and then pretty much we can have a little quick look at it but largely it is a it is a standard um, stock level uh, vehicle there's there's nothing there's nothing really great on it that uh, that we can take off uh, so there's no no point keeping anything in relation to this so uh, we're pretty much going to sell this one so we retain it and then go to truck storage and sell it so that'll give us 5650 which brings us up to almost twenty thousand dollars units credits uh, in our uh, in our pocket which uh, yeah is, is making things feel a little bit more comfortable than uh, when we were running around at the starter game with about five thousand so it's it's becoming more comfortable now it's still fairly early yet so we've probably got a little bit of time that we can we can head out in the chef i'd like to to do a bit of scouting is the the next thing on my list so we'll start out and this will almost certainly run more than today but i'm not gonna miss out on some time so we'll we'll head off and do some scouting down through smithfield dam see what we can find in the way of watchtowers and upgrades. Now putting this roof rack on will make the, the chef just a little bit more top heavy. It's marginal. So just have to be aware of that when we're, when we're going on our sides. But at least I don't have a crane for the chef, so I'm not going to forget to put its legs out. Which seems to be my bane at the moment.
time. Head down this track, we will find an upgrade. Which is for the light western star. will be a useful truck in the future. muddy along here so you just need to be careful yeah so sort of mud hole Sean. So on that note, now that we get here back on the road, I think that's a pretty good stop, spot where we can stop for today. We're a little bit early. But uh, it's pretty close to, uh, to 8 o'clock, it's probably about 7 now. Yeah, 6.45, so we're getting close to our 8 o'clock stop and that's a pretty good spot for us to stop for today. So I will leave it there for today, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you can join me tomorrow for my continued adventures exploring in Smithfield Dam through SnowRunner. <laughs> thanks for watching and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye for now.